Hey guys, JD from JD Tech TV here. And if you're like me and you're trying to find ways to be safer while you drive, you know, not text while you drive or video while you drive, I found the perfect solution for you. Ready? Here we go. Boom. Hands free. Up, up, up. Boom. Hey, thanks for joining me on another review for JD Tech TV where I try before you buy. And if you haven't been here before, this is a place where I upload videos every single week on tech that I think people use every single day. So if you like the videos and if you want to see more, please consider subscribing down below. And whoo, <laughs> I have a really, really good one for y'all this week. I have the last car phone mount that you're ever going to need. Yeah. Right? Okay, first, let me explain something to you. When is the last time, when's the last time that you saw one of these? Let alone even touched one of these things. When's, oh. When's the last time that you saw one of these, let alone even picked one up? You have that slot in your car and you never use it. You know what I say to these things? Beat it, nerd. <laughs> My mix. Do you know what's taking over your CD slot now? Boom. Oh, that's right. All right, here it is. It's the MPOW CD slot car mount. You ready for this? Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> How cool is that? So on these side arms here, there's some little foam padding that's right here as well as on the back. That's just there so whenever you place your phone in there, it's not gonna scratch it or anything. And also on the bottom, there's these little arms that will fold out here that has foam padding there as well. So whenever you place your phone in there, it won't slide out the bottom. It kind of helps hold the weight. Now this back section here, this is what's gonna go into the CD slot itself. And I don't know if MPOW came up with this solution to, uh, to this engineering problem, but probably not. But whoever did, this is ingenious. So you're gonna just slide this right into the CD slot and then you're gonna turn this knob right here and you're gonna see this center lip start to come up. And what this does is it kind of grabs onto the inside of your CD player and holds on. So no matter what type of like bumpy ride you have going on in your car, it's not going anywhere. Now there's really only one thing left to show you outside of showing you what it looks like in my car is to show you what a phone looks like in it and just kind of how big it looks. Unfortunately, since I'm filming on my phone right now, the only thing that I have to use is my trusty handy dandy Otterbox Symmetry that I use for my iPhone 7 Plus, which I will be doing a review on this later. Keep a lookout for that. All right, let me show you how this goes right in here. See, just slides right in there, squeeze the sides, and it's secure. Give it. It's not going anywhere. All right, I guess I should show you what this looks like in my car. All right, come on, let's go. All right, so here's my car's dash, and you can see my CD player is way lower than the average person's, which is usually up in this area. So if you have yours up there and you put this in, it might block your display, but it really kind of depends on your car. But it's very easy to put in. You just slide it right into the slot there, turn the screw to tighten it. Oops, actually turning the fan on. <laughs> and you're good. You're good to go. Set your phone in there, squeeze the sides, and you're good. You're hands-free. So it's really easy to turn it from left to right if you have the knob on the back dialed in correctly. Ugh. Now, I know that I'm gushing over such a simple thing, and I know what some of you are thinking. No, I am not getting paid by MPOW. This is not a paid promotion. I just love what I love, and I want you to know about it, so maybe you would love this too. But, like all things, it's not perfect. So it does have its flaws. So let me actually show you on the table here what I mean. Here, watch. All right, so the first issue that I had with it and something that I noticed right away was that it was all plastic. And it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. It's actually pretty thick plastic. It feels like the construction's pretty good. But that's not what I'm concerned about. What I'm concerned about is for people like me who live in Florida or any other hot place that's in the world where it regularly gets over 100 degrees, especially in the summer. And on the inside of your car, it's getting 160 degrees and over. 
So what happens to plastic when it heats up? It bends, it's malleable, it folds, it moves. So I really do see some legitimate issues in the future to this actually warping. And I mean, ultimately, even the problems that are brought up with this, they're just, they're so minor. I mean, at this point, I'm just trying to find something wrong with this thing. And if I'm being honest, the plastic is thick enough to where I really don't think that it's going to be an issue with warping. You know, I haven't really had enough time to test it out. It's, it's cool in Florida. It's not really summer. It's, it's winter in Florida, which means that it's like 75, 80 degrees. So it hasn't even gotten hot enough in order to even test if this thing bends. But if I'm being completely honest, it's pretty thick and I really don't see that happening. And listen, I get it. If you're one of those people that has one of those like huge CD cases that's like three by three, like on both sides with like 30 pages each and you have this like awesome like big dog apparel sticker on it or like a Hot Topic sticker that you just don't think that they make anymore. I, I get it. If you don't want to throw away your like 540 CDs, yeah, right? But for those of us who have the option of using Bluetooth in our car or that you can have an auxiliary cable hooked up to your phone into your car, this is the perfect option. Probably one of the best parts about this is that it's inexpensive. I picked it up on Amazon for like $12.99, I think, which I'll actually put a link in the description. So listen, if you're trying to have less distractions while you're driving and looking to go hands-free, which you should be trying to do anyway, not only for the safety of yourself, but for the safety of others, then do yourself a favor, simplify your life, and pick up one of these. It seriously is the last car phone mount that you're ever gonna need. Well, thanks for joining me for another review on JD Tech TV. If you liked the video, then just give me a thumbs up or let me know what you think in the comments down below. And lastly, make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this because I upload them every single week. Thanks again for joining me. See you next week. I swear to you, it's 540. Th okay, all right, think about it. Three by three, that's nine. With two sides, that's 18. What, and then you have 30 pages, okay? What's 18 times three? It's 54, why are you thinking about this? 54, add a zero, it's 540. Boom, physics major, man. Trust me on the simple math. P pull out your calculator, I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. What did you get? Turn around. Turn around. Show me. 540. Boom! In your face!